Hello, today I'll be doing a video on episode 4 of Little Fires Everywhere. With this episode, we continue with the abandoned baby from episode 3. The mother, B.B. Chow, is trying her hardest to raise money to get a lawyer in order to get her daughter back. Meanwhile, Reese Witherspoon has suspicions that Carrie Washington had something to do with B.B. Chow finding out where her daughter currently is because the daughter was or is currently in the process of being adopted by one of Reese's friends that lives nearby. I mentioned in the last review that I really did not care for the storyline because it did seem very unrealistic and super dramatic for the sake of good TV, but it has grown on me and it has become more and more entertaining. There's finally an actual feud between Carrie and Reese and everything's coming out into the open and it's not this stupid like passive aggressive BS that we had to deal with in the last previous episodes. I honestly don't even know who to root for because Reese is racist as hell, like she's an, a closeted racist but Carrie is actually not very likable at all. There's just something super unlikable about her, and I don't know if it's the character or if it's the actress, because I'm not a fan of Carrie Washington, so she's just very unlikable in general. And it honestly makes me wonder if Carrie is only helping B.B. Chow because she genuinely wants the kid to be back with the mom, with the biological mom, or if it's all about her own ego, because she does seem crazy as cat shit. Like there's something very wrong with her. So moving on, the subplot of the episode involves very boring, tedious teen drama that I really did not give a crap about. And it involves Pearl, and it involves a love triangle involving Trip and Moody. Trip and Moody are the two sons of Reese Witherspoon, and Moody has a huge crush on Pearl, but she's not reciprocating his feelings. She's more interested in Trip, and I guess they hook up, and yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, so not to give too much away, but that's basically like teen drama, low romance, hookup, BS that I just did not care for. It felt like filler, to be honest. And I was actually very disappointed that the subplot involved this instead of focusing on Izzy and her supposed sexuality because the last episode kind of ended on a cliffhanger with her storyline. We were last told about how there's a possible rumor that had happened between her and another girl during the summer and there was no mention of this in this episode. It was like they're holding off for a later episode which was very frustrating because they're only releasing one episode a week. And something that I found a little interesting, some people might disagree with me on this, but going back to Pearl, she is having some problems with her mom, Carrie Washington, and Carrie Washington has a lot of issues, and she does seem crazy as cat shit, like I mentioned before, but I honestly think that Pearl would not be as upset with her mom and so against her mom and so ready to side with Reese Witherspoon, despite the fact that Reese Witherspoon has made off comment racist remarks towards her. But yeah, I don't think she'd be so against her mom and so ready to side with someone else if she wasn't ready to hook up with any white guy that came along. She's kind of white boy obsessed in this show, and if it weren't for that, I think she'd be more relaxed around her mom like she'd be more willing to hear her mom out or take her mom's word for it but because she has like white guys on the brain at her school she's willing to ditch her mom and go sleep at the racist white woman's house i just thought it was very interesting that pearl was more comfortable sleeping at a racist white woman's house rather than sleep at her mom's house like her mom had to scream at her to come home that just seemed a little off-putting considering that Reese has made racist comments and 
one of her daughters have also made racist affirmative action comments. And the same daughter that made the affirmative action comments in the other episode has also taken Pearl's life story for her college essay in order to get accepted into a college and seem more interesting. She took Pearl's life story about being downtrodden and poor and going through troubles. And Pearl found this out from the black boyfriend. And Pearl, for some reason, had no problem with this. So Pearl, in my opinion, is low-key cooning. Like, she's low-key, she's a low-key bed wench. Like, she's willing to brush things under the rug. She's willing to brush under the off-putting comments from the white characters, but will scream at her mom. I don't know, I'm just looking at Pearl a little... I'm side-eyeing her. Like, she's becoming a little more and more irritating because of her behavior. But overall, I give this episode a 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching.